Hello YouTube, so today I'll be going over a special type of loop known as a for loop. So now this concept might be difficult to understand at first, but it's a very, very useful concept in programming. So let's just dive right into it. So basically when you think of a loop, it, you think of something that is repeated. Now a for loop is something that only, rep only loops for a specific amount of time. So that's where a for loop comes in. So in order to make a for loop, let's start off with the basic for loop. Let's type in for open bracket int i equals zero. Now this might not make sense at the beginning, but it will make sense afterwards. And then c dot print line hi. Let's run this, and it should have put hi five times. Okay, now let's look at it, the code. So we have a four here, and we have an int i equals zero. This declares a variable within the loop. And here we have our conditional statement, so if i is less than 5. So here we declare a variable called an integer, and if you recall from the previous tutorial, i++ plus plus so it increments i, and then it outputs hi. Okay? We can also output the actual variable here, so i. The variable declared here is only available inside the for loop, so we can declare another variable here with the exact same name as i. So here it outputs 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it starts off at 0, so I output 0, then it increments, goes to 1, then it finds out it's still less than 5, so it goes to 2, 3, 4. And once it increments, it's 5, and it's no longer less than 5, so it doesn't output 5. If we do less than or equal to 5, it will output all the way to 5, and it'll actually run 6 times. If we make it greater than 5, nothing will happen, because it's never, ever greater than 5, so this will never execute. Let's make it equals equals 5. Is i equals equals 5 at the beginning? No, it's not. But if we initialize this 5, it works once. We can also cut off specific sections of it. So let's just add an incrementer here. Doesn't work. So here we need less than 3. Let's start off at 0. And here it consistently adds zero, unless we add a i plus plus here, and then it would work. So we can cut off specific sections of this. Uh, we can actually make it while i is less than zero, and then we do i minus minus. Oh, and just in case you guys don't know, i minus minus refers to d incrementing it by one each time. So here, this one would actually go on forever because you say while well, it's less than 3 and since it's going the opposite direction it's actually going the other way so yeah it's just something very interesting now um, another thing to do is just you can declare multiple variables in here so you just separate them by colons and what is important to realize is what is part of the for loop so just to review, we have the declaration statement. So this declares variable i and defines it a value. You could also call this initialization statement. Then you have a Boolean condition here. And then you have your incrementing value. You add the curly braces and in here. You can do whatever you want. OK. I hope you guys understand this tutorial. I hope it's useful for you. And we'll see the implementation of for loops in the future videos. Thanks for watching.